Hi, welcome to Floyd Moles Kit Review Time. Today we've got Kitty Hawk's latest release. This is their 132nd RF5E Tiger Ride. Now you might see, we've seen this one before, Phil. No, we haven't. This is actually the reconnaissance version. So it's got the nice blister on the front of the nose there with all the camera equipment. So obviously this is the recon bird, hence its designation RF instead of just normal F5E. So the F5E kit, we've seen this one, so we don't have to go a million miles into this kit. Very nice. It has got a few little icky points to it. One was the big seam line down on the actual fuselage with the intake area not sure why it had that so it'd be interesting to see if that's still got it i'm assuming it has because all they've done is probably put the new front end onto this one but anyway looking around on the box we can see very nice box art there now with the northrop uh, bird as well very nice indeed some of the different markings we can see down in here as well so we've got sort of air force one i think that's malaysian one and i'm not sure i'm not sure uh, so we'll have to check those out in a moment and then obviously branding on the cut so your kit number is 32023 on this particular one and again here, really nice with that sort of showbird one with the aggressor type markings on there, all like that indeed. So, on to the box. Hopefully going to sit, probably not, there we go. Okay, so starting off in the old instructions so we can have a look at them. Okay, so down in here, looks like we get a pilot, which is really nice having the resin pilot onto these. Seems to be Kitty Hawk's latest thing now, but they all come with it. Very welcome indeed. Usual thing, cockpit right the way through it on this one, as we saw before. Okay, pretty much standard down in there. And then obviously you've got the gear, the front end of everything. You get one gun on this one, because obviously with the reconnaissance gear, so you just get a single gun on it. Okay, and then obviously you've got the forward half, or mid half, I should say, with those being fitted down into it. And then obviously getting the cockpit pit in and that nose wheel assembly all in one just down in there looks complicated it's not as complicated it actually comes across then you've got the new nose so this is the new part okay it says optional which i find quite interesting with this one so is it going to have both of them in here maybe it does but anyway it's got the camera so you've got the down looking cameras the oblique looking cameras and forward looking cameras those all being fitted down there then you've got your glass work going in and then that will then fit on the front just like that okay so Again, I think looking at it, it does seem to see you could actually probably put on both. We'll just see if the other one's in the kit as well. Then we've got the canopy system being fitted down there. It can be a little bit mechanical at the back here. So just take your time with that one. You'll be absolutely fine. Then if you're having it all open, but no... Most of us, I think, will be putting that all on a lot later on. Full length engines right the way through. Saw this before, very nice touch. And with the gear, things like that. There is something to talk about in the gear, I do believe. We'll keep that for a moment. Then we've actually got the main uh, underside being fitted in. So we've got the wheel wells being fitted down there and then your engines. Then we've got this upper part being fitted onto the lower as before. Then we've got some of these. Now, we will just mention this as we are here. It looks like it's wrong. Okay, so you see this down in here and you're thinking what's going on here, that, that's just wrong because the markings are a bit icky. As we saw it before, we can't really show it on here, but these are actually a pull out. So that's what it is. So when you see these, you're thinking it all goes a little bit awry, like down on here. That's because on the other side, you've got the other half of it. There we go. You can actually see it down on that one. All right, so it goes right the way through rather than on here so don't take too much notice about how you see these it is a funny way of showing it but they're designed to be a pull out rather than leave them in there just like that so we said we've got the singapore one we've got the uh, malaysian one and then obviously we've got the normal rf version down in there what was our other one i'm sure we had a, another version as well singapore one taiwan so we've got the Taiwanese one as well, and that's your Malaysian on that side. So again, remember, it's just a pull out, not the actual all the way through, okay? And then we've got the Tiger Eye version up on there. Weapon call outs for it, obviously, and then back to the build itself. So then, usual thing, front and half back goes in. Louvador system, obviously it's optional. It was only literally on startup, I think it had those open. And then the cans down the back end of it and the various parts going on just like that into that gear with the wing systems being fitted on nice that it's got separate slats flaps and ailerons right the way through very nice touch of posing it and obviously you can do a deflection on the rudder as well to make it a little bit more 3d okay gear doors various things landing lights all the usual suspects going on just down on there lumps bumps this particular one obviously we've got the flare um, and uh, chap pack launchers on there tail hook assembly being fitted down onto that one Funny enough, hasn't got the brake chute assembly. Did it not have brake chute assembly? They missed that. I thought they would have had it at the back. Okay, but anyway, it doesn't seem to have it down on there. And then obviously pylons, things like that being fitted down in there. And then a big old sparrow. 
So they've got the AIM-7 system down on there if you wanted to fit those onto a rail or two. And there we go, that does it. Again, doesn't look too bad at all. Some very nice little stuff down in there. Markings and photo etch, so we said before, we get a very nice piece of photo etch with it. Okay, so you've got your canopy rails, harnesses, uh, some of the detail points on there as well. That's actually quite a welcome piece to see. And then down in here, we've got your standard uh, data, uh, instrument panel, things like that, and obviously your weapons ones. And then down on here, we've got some very nice uh, ones down on this one, so you can see well, maybe a little bit thick but solid, shall we say? I wouldn't say there's any problem with them. A little bit of carrier down on there with the RF ones, things like that. So that's actually looking quite nice indeed. Then we got the parts. So, clear part, have a look at the moment. So, you've got that standard as it is, and it does look like you do get both noses for it. So, you could probably just build an R, uh, an F5E from this because we've got the noses down in this one already. Okay, so I'm imagining it wouldn't be a problem to do that one. Again, we have seen this in the detail, so we just skimmed through it, and if you wanna see the more detailed one, then please look up, and I'll link the original review down below as always. Okay, so generally looking, this one looks just about the same as the last one. No real problems anywhere. Some nice little highlights for this one which we said last time, but I just point them out. Very nice that we don't have any ejector pins inside these detail areas for the nose. So when it's all opened up, if you're using the gun and showing the gun off, they have no problems there as well. And the cockpit detail isn't bad at all. It's actually pretty good on this particular kit. Yes, it has got the little bits of flash on it and everything else like that, but pretty much that standard Kitty Hawk through and through. Okay, so checking to see if we've still got it, which we do, it's just such a shame on this particular one. So we saw it last time, but we just recap. This is what we're on about with this bloody seam line running down here, excuse my French. Okay, but as you can see, it's a bit nasty and gnarly and it's got uh, recessed riveting all around it. So it's just a bit of a pain to get rid of. Now don't get me wrong, a good quality sounding stick, Flory Models does do those, uh, but we'll take that out within a couple of passes and it's not a problem, you can just go through. It's just a little bit annoying that the mold was out of alignment when it did these. So it's pretty much standard, exactly as we saw last time, but you can see really nice internal details down in here. The doors for the louver door system on here, one's come off, okay, but that shows those down in there like that, no problem at all but again really nice detail on this particular chip the back system down in here is exactly the same as on the other kit but this is our new sprue just down in here okay so you can see this one wasn't on the last one so we can have a proper look here so actually what we've got now is this new nose system we've got the cameras which don't look the most you know over the top and then obviously the single point gun system on this one right the way through on the blind side we've got no details on the inside of this whatsoever so obviously you're not going to see any of that anyway but you can see that distinctive uh turned up nose front on there for the forward looking cameras the lower cameras and the oblique cameras on the sides but that's really what the different part is with this actual kit so that's those parts on there, just like that, okay? The other part is, on the clear parts, you do get this now, which is obviously the little greenhouse window for the bottom, and the forward cameras on there, just like that, okay? So that's your, your new parts really are just that one there with that, okay? So that's where you're getting those parts from. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same, so we don't really need to get these out again, but we have obviously got very nice detail with the engines, we've got full weapons fit, the seats, everything down in here just like that. And actually you get two seats, because obviously the F version with the two-seater, and exactly the same wheels and gears, and everything else is just the same down on here. And there's no problem with any of those whatsoever. Now, your resin figure is just down in here. Good him and he is actually very nice indeed you can see nice figure with the oxygen mask good detail down in here and everything else it does look like he's lost his hand unfortunately his hand has come adrift and it's down in the packet but he is down in there just like that quick bit of repair and he does carry his parachute as does the real thing it's not integrated into the seat on these the other interesting part is this. Now, I don't want to go too much into this because we're not sure 
if it comes with a kit or not. This is actually a pre-production shot. Um, and I'll just read the note off as. Okay, so this is not included in the kit. It's just a sample. Okay, so we just have a quick look, but nothing major. But we do look like we have some very nice thing. But this does not come with the kit. I'm just saying this is just a pre-shot version. Obviously, they're just doing a little bit of testing, Kitty Hawk. I have to say, it does look very nice to me. They've cleaned up all the, the markings. It's just the same as the kit part, but cleaned up and done as well. But that does not come with the kit, I hasten to add. And then, obviously, we've got the clear parts for the top. As we said, it's really nice because it's a good, clear system on this one. It fits right down. And then we've got the parts at the top, just like that. And there you have it. I have to say, it's really nice. I haven't built the 30 second normal version of the F5E yet. I'm desperate to do it. I do have the kit. Uh, I just haven't got around to building it yet, but I really do want to do it. It does look very nice. Downsize to me is that center, that seam line. It's just a mold line. It, it's not a problem to get rid of it. It's nice, it's straightforward, it's easy, it's on a curved point. It's, you know, very straightforward. It's just annoying it's there. That's the problem. Uh, so that just bugs me on that particular kit. As for doing the RF version with the content version with the nose, very nice to see it's a different version come out. You could possibly do the normal version out of this kit, it looks like, with no problems at all, because you do get both sides in there. Just got the extra sprue and the extra clear bits for doing the front end, and obviously decals you'd have to sort out yourself. That gear, take no notice of whatsoever. It does not come with the kit. You've got the plastic ones in there. I know loads of people have built this kit and the gear doesn't need to be metal anyway. It's not a heavy kit. It's not under a great deal of weight or anything else like that. So the normal plastic gear is absolutely fine on this kit. But there we go. That's Kitty Hawks 132nd RF5E Tiger Eye.